even tried all the five sets so that's that's a funny and shocking as well hello students welcome to i quanta today i am going to discuss regarding effective approach to solving lrdi set now i know you must have watched hundreds of videos like this but this one is something different this one is unique and this one is uh, because of the cat 2024 pattern now you know that in all three slots there were 22 questions instead of 20 there were five sets right and uh, you must have heard that uh, some students uh, solved four sets some of them solved three sets and my god some of them even tried all the five sets so that's that's a funny and shocking as well and that could put in depression anyone so here comes the trick that uh, are you prepared for that did you check the latest percentile versus score uh, table do you know that uh, this year to get 99 per plus percentile you need to solve nine, uh, three sets out of five right and that's where it becomes very important that you have this effective approach of solving lrdi sets now starting with the first point decide on a set is it easy or difficult for you so if you have checked or you have not checked let me tell you this year sets were based on everything this year to cat 2024 was something new sets were easy but not for everyone sets were based on uh, data interpretation completely which were absent for last few years and those calculations were something that you cannot do it in time even with the help of calculator you will have to have a good skill of approximation so there goes your preparation on data interpretation then there were sets on a uh, venn diagram where uh, you don't need to draw one venn diagram group you need to draw three venn diagrams of different groups and you need to solve all of them together so again there goes your preparation on venn diagrams then there were sets on integral solutions algebra you need to fill a complete table and there were five or six times you need to apply linear equations which can be solved using integral solutions method so what's left oh, which type of sets do you want to attempt then uh, then there is only one option left that you should go for at uh, when when you start the exam when you start the section which is lr sets lr sets are something that you should choose that is it easy or difficult for you now how do you choose an lr set that decide the time you are going to invest in understanding so if there are lots of lots of information given then don't start with that lr set at first if there are lots of uh, complicated tables are given don't start with that so how do you start start with uh, start with a set which have lesser information and uh, the diagram is not that much complicated so if you want to check there was a set related to uh, atms there were six atms at nine intersection points but uh, the integral solution worked very fine there you had to consider the cases then again we are going to discuss a set where uh, cases works so if you see information are not given in lots of statements you can start with that set but you will have to be prepared for taking different cases yes taking different cases takes more time but still it's better than not taking cases and getting it wrong okay then comes the next point that focus on identifying hook points on start solving so read all the information try to write all the information in your own language so that you don't have to go to all the statements again and again and then start using those points and try to fill the table sometimes what happens that uh, you think there will be three cases four cases five cases but 
there is one information that clicks and you solve that set very easily. Is that possible? Yes, let me show you. So this set uh, is, is an amazing set and this set it says the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are placed in 10 slots of the following grid based on the conditions below. So some conditions has been given, 6 conditions has been given. Then this is the diagram. There are 4 columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows, 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 slots. You need to fill these 10 numbers here. Now, statement 1, numbers in any row appear in an increasing order from left to right. So, number will be in increasing order like this. In any row, number from left to right will be in increasing order. Okay. So, the number at the last column will be maximum. In each column, in each column, the number in that particular row will be maximum. Then it says, numbers in any column appear in a de decreasing order from top to bottom. Decreasing order from top to bottom or just the reverse of it, that increasing order from bottom to top. So what we can say that in each column, in each column, if you consider the numbers in the first row will be maximum. So what do we understand from there? That first thing that we understand, then in each column, the fourth column, the number will be bigger than each number in that row. And in the top row, the number will be bigger than each number in that column. So can we say that uh, the number at this point, this, this box will be maximum of maximum. And what is that maximum number? This is 10. You don't need to read further. You can decide this then and there that this number will be 10. Maximum of maximum. Okay. Now again, I am not reading further statements. I am not reading further statements. Just because of these two statements, what can we figure out? Think about this. That 9, where will 9 be? 9 is the greatest number after 10. So 9 can be only before 10, right? There cannot be any number between 9 and 10. So 9 can only be here or it can only be here. There is no other option. Then again, another point, 8, think about it. There is <clears throat> only two numbers ahead of 8, which is 9 and 10. So between 8 and 10, there could only one number, which is 9. Or it's also possible that, it's also possible that, that uh, in one row, 9 and 10 are there. In one column, 8 and 10 are there, right? Now we need to read further statements that uh, we have done with statement 1 and 2, third one. 1 is placed either in the same row or the same column as 10. So 1 can be uh, either in the same row or the same column as 10. 1 is the smallest number. It must be either the bottom one or the leftmost one. So 1 will be either in this box or in this box, right? That's it. Now see, at this point, when I, I started solving this set, I thought, one could be here, one could be here, nine could be here, nine could be here. I got four cases. Do I have to draw all the four cases? That will be much time taking. Then I said, no, it's not possible. Cat cannot be that much cruel that they will ask me to draw four different diagrams. Okay, there must be something in it. Something very interesting. Then I read the rest of the information. Neither two nor three is placed in the same row or in the same column as 10. That means two cannot be here. Three cannot be here. Two cannot be here. Three cannot be here. So I thought two cannot be any of this. Two cannot be any of this. Same for three. So how many places are left? How many boxes are left? Only these three. Now I know that uh, two cannot be after one because one is here or here. Two cannot be uh, after one. Two can only be before three. And three can only be after two. Then I thought that two can only be at this place or at this place. What about three? If I put to any of these position, let's say if I put to any of these position, can I put three here? 
no i cannot put 3 here why because there should be a number which is lesser than 3 at this place that can only be 1 or 3 1 cannot be placed here 2 is already taken that means 3 can only be here or vice versa so again i'm going to erase all the information one thing that we know is 10 can be here 2 can be here or 3 can be here 3 can be here or 2 can be here that's it still now we have this much information only so let's read the next point which says neither 7 nor 8 is placed in the same column same row as 9 now we know that between 8 and 10 we, you cannot place 9 because 8 cannot be in the same row as 9 that means if 9 is here or here then 8 must be opposite of that because between 8 and 10 9 cannot be placed so now you have these two places booked right these two places you have booked think about this this is very interesting fact this is the tiebreaker which which is uh, stopping you from taking further cases okay now the last information which was amazing four and six are placed in the same row what could be that row can that be this row no this row no this row no because this is booked four and six can be only at one row which is row one so four must be here six must be here four and six are here where do you put uh, five where do you put seven or nine now it says seven and eight cannot be in the same row as nine so this place if you put nine you must place eight or seven here so there is only one place left for nine that i must put nine here and i must put eight here right if i put eight here what other numbers do we have can i say the place of one has been taken by four so only one place left for one which is here and then it's uh, child's work this is seven and this is five now some of you must be worrying about two and three where do i place two where do i place three you don't need to work on that there is no information left to figure that out so leave it as it is and move forward your your task is to solve the question not to fill the table right so let's move on to the questions first question what is the row number which has the least sum of numbers placed in that row row number which has the least sum of numbers placed in that row so can i say it row 4 which has only one number so it's row number 4 then the second question which of the following statements must be true 10 is placed in a slot in row 1 that is always true row 1 fourth column so this is true second statement one is placed in a slot in row 4 so one is placed in a slot row 4 that is also true so both the statements are true right so this one is also true so our answer is option d both 1 and 2 then the next question third question which of the following statements must be true 2 is placed in a slot in column 2 2 is placed in a slot 2 is placed in a slot column 2 so can we say no we don't know the exact position of 2 it could be column 2 or column 3 then so this we are not sure 3 is placed in a slot column 3 again this is not a sure uh, information so our answer is option d neither 1 nor 2 for how many slots in the grid placement of numbers cannot be determined with certainty two numbers two slots two and three right so our answer is two here then comes last question what is the sum of the numbers placed in column four column four this column 10 plus 8 plus 7 plus 1 15 plus 1 16 plus 10 26 so our answer is 26 for this question so you can see once you are thorough with these type of sets you are going to get the full marks full marks all the five questions to be honest 
this set does not deserve five questions if it was cat 2023 or before that but cat 2024 was completely different right so if you are preparing for cat 2025 we have something amazing for you we have the road map of uh, remaining 240 days for cat preparation plan you can join our whatsapp group where you will get all the kinds of help you need to crack cat this year okay you are i you are an i quanta student or not that does not matter okay we are here for you you will find as you can see that cat 2025 time table i quanta april to november you have a complete road map here apart from that you are going to get all the links of all the free resources that we offer okay so go to the uh, description go to that whatsapp group join it and start preparing for cat 2025 okay thank you